so i was scrolling on instagram and pet on the set do some bomb nails and she did this to her phone case yeah yep we're doing it i'm on my way to five below right now to try to find me a clear phone case because we finna do that i'm finna do that so i went straight to five below's cell phone case section to find me a clear case for my phone i have an iphone se and sure enough they had a nice clear case right there in the front waiting for me that's how i know it was meant to be for me to do this so when i got back home i opened up the case and it's just a basic clear case it doesn't have to be anything all spectacular as long as it's a nice clear case or you can pick whatever color case that you want but since she used the clear case i used the clear one too okay so boom now let's get into the nails this is my junk nail box okay some bomb sets have came from all of these nails that y'all see in here i know y'all see a few familiar sets so this is what i'm going to be using to make the nails stick to the phone case this is a rhinestone glue that i got from timu i'm not sure what she did or used to create her cell phone case she never mentioned or showed how she did it she pretty much was just saying that she created that phone case to promote her business which she's a nail tech so on the back of her case it said book me and she put all the nails that she's created on the back of her cell phone case which was so cool to me and that's what inspired me to create my own so mind y'all i don't really know what i'm doing right now i'm just kind of freestyling um i chose to use the rhinestone nail glue because since we are using nails that kind of makes sense i've never done this before so at this point i was just guessing like okay i could use like the gel glue that you use to do gel x nails or like a thick rhinestone glue so since this glue is nice and thick um i chose to use it to put the nails on my case at first i was going to apply the gel glue all over the cell phone case and then just put all the nails on but i decided to just do it like section by section so that i can choose the nails wisely and place them on there wisely because it's like you kind of only get one shot and i did not want to mess this up at all so i'm applying the glue onto the case in sections and i am applying the nails onto the case in sections as well So right here, I was almost done with the case and I was like, wait a minute, we need to put some duckies in there because y'all know I love me some duck nails. So those two duck nails fit perfectly in the last two empty spaces. And then I went ahead and I grabbed my Melody Susie full power nail lamp and I set it for 90 seconds. And then I put the whole case under there and I let it cure. For 90 seconds this was such a cool and simple and easy diy project to do i really am a diy girly i love to do different diy projects so when i saw this i was like oh yeah we're doing it we are doing that so just to make sure everything is fully cured i did put it back under the nail lamp for another 90 seconds and then I just used my finger just to kind of see if I could lift anything off and everything was nice and secure on there. These nails ain't moving nowhere, which lets me know that that rhinestone nail glue works really well. I had been wanting to try it out anyway on some nails. So now that I know it can hold all of these nails on a case, I know it's going to do real well when I get ready to apply some rhinestones onto my nails. And this is the finished look of the case it looks so cute it came out so good and i hope i inspire you guys to try to create one of your own i hope you guys enjoyed that diy junk nails cell phone case tutorial now let's get into some diy nails so i got these jelly gel polishes from timu in my last timu haul video but i didn't get to swatch them for you guys so you can see how the colors look so instead of swatching we are just going to create our own nail set 
Now I also got these full cover nail tips from Timu as well in one of my Timu hauls that I did a while back and I never used them. So since I decided to create my own nail set, it's the perfect time to break them out and get into them. So I remember picking these nails because I wanted a long square shape and I loved how they are already roughened on the underside of the nail. So you don't have to file the underside. They come pre-etched so that's one less step that you have to do and they are very stiff and sturdy on the tips and more flexible towards the cuticle and I like that when it comes to choosing press on nails or full cover nail tips. So here's another item that I got from Timu, which is this nail stand and nail clay to stick your nails onto so that you can easily decorate and design your nails without them being on your fingers. So this stand really comes in handy. Now let's get into these jelly nail polishes. They're called jelly polishes because they're like a clear jelly. They're not a solid color they're more clear and jelly like and i really wanted to try these out the clear jelly nails are definitely trending this summer so i was like let me just hop on the trend as well and join the nail growth and of course timu literally has everything that's trending so shout out to timu for sponsoring this portion of the video and this four pack of jelly polishes is only $3.49. I will make sure I link everything used in this video in the description box. So make sure you guys check out the description box. There's also going to be a link in the description box for you to download the Timu app if you don't have it already. And my referral code will also be in the description box so you can get a $100 coupon bundle and save on your order. Now let's jump back into these gel polishes though. So when I opened this pink one, I was like, is this orange? Why is it that color? Like that do not look like pink. But when I started to paint the polish on the nail, I was like, ooh, yes, this is beautiful. The blue and the green jelly polish that I did on the first two nails looks a little light, but this pink though, that pink is popping now the yellow on the other hand yellow for some reason is always a lot lighter than other colors when it comes to polishes or gel polishes so i wasn't expecting the yellow to be like super bright um it's definitely very clear yellow but this is just the first coat that i'm putting on these nails and at first, I was just gonna swatch these for you guys, but I decided to go ahead and create a set. So I did apply one coat onto all the nails and I cured that first coat for 60 seconds under my nail lamp. And for this to be only one coat, the colors came out pretty good. Um, of course, the pink is the most popping one. The green and the blue is good as well. I also painted my pinky nail the jelly blue, but I don't think I applied enough on that first um, layer. So this is after the second coat of the polish. And as you can see, the colors are popping after the second coat, even the yellow. So I am very impressed with the quality of these jelly polishes. And at this point I was like, oh yeah, I, I know this set about to be popping for real. So in my last Timu haul video, I also got this box of 3D nail charms and they just go so perfect with the colors of the jelly polishes. So I decided to test these nail charms out and apply some of them onto my set. Now this box of 3D assorted nail charms is only $5.49. It has 15 squares and each square has their own color charm or a different type of charm. And of course, I went with the teddy bears because duh, they just so perfect and they're gummy and jelly like the polishes. The gummy bears look so real and I just wanted to eat them like... <laughs> 
they are so cute and they match the color of the gel polishes so perfect so i decided not to put the same color gummy bear onto the same color nail i wanted to offset the colors a little bit so i put a purple gummy bear on that blue nail and now i'm putting a blue gummy bear onto the green nail and as you can see i'm using that rhinestone nail glue that i got from timu as well to apply these gummy bears and I'm using the rhinestone nail glue to apply the gummy bears onto these nails. It's the same one that I used to create the cell phone case. So now we're putting it to use onto the nails. And I am only putting like a nice bubble towards the cuticle area since that's where I want the gummy bears to be. And I put all three of those on at the same time and then now I'm gonna cure those three because my teddy bears started to slide a little bit so I was like okay let me go ahead and cure these before they slide out of place and this is how they look after I cured them and now I'm going to apply the last two teddy bears onto the last two nails And this is how they look after I got done curing them. And they look so cute. And at first I was like, I'm going to just stop right here and just make it a teddy bear set. But then I was like, they, they look a little plain. Like they could use something extra on them. Although they are very cute, I was like, I'm going to put a couple more charms on so even though they look cute just like that with one teddy bear on them i was like we doing an extra long nail set let's go ahead and turn these nails up a little bit more so i decided to add a couple of the sucker nail charms onto a couple of the nails and as you can see i put a nice bubble of glue onto the nail just like i did for the teddy bear and i'm also making sure that the stick of the sucker is saturated with the rhinestone glue so that it holds on there really good and I cured those suckers onto the nails for 60 seconds as well. But then I was like, let me just go ahead and add some more charms onto the other nails as well. Like YOLO, you only live once. Like let's just go ahead and make this a bomb set. So I went ahead and added a couple extra charms on. And that really did it. Like that really just turned the nails up even more i was trying not to overkill the nails so i was treading lightly but i think those few extra charms really did it and made the set what it needed to be because the set is giving everything that it is supposed to give and they're giving salon quality and nail shop vibes like nobody would ever think that i created this set in the comfort of my own home and you can do it too i mean look how quick and easy it was for me to just paint these nails get the rhinestone glue and apply the nail charms and boom just like that we got a fresh set and i ate this set down okay do y'all see this do y'all see these nails i definitely ate drop a comment and let me know if y'all think i ate or not which i already know i ate because i'm full and look at this set look at this full set make sure y'all like this video and if you are viewing this video and you have not subscribed yet what are you waiting for go ahead and subscribe you are going to love it here come on and join the chalk nation 
let me know how y'all felt about this DIY video and if you want to see more DIY videos from me because I can do so many things of course that's why my name is Chuck does it all because I do it all baby and make sure y'all got y'all notification bells on so that you do not miss any of my content so right after you subscribe go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you know when the next video is dropping i'll see y'all in the next one peace